have completed assembly of this project and when I tested it, it worked out just fine as per design. This is a simple laser security system which is built to trigger an alarm once an intruder comes across the laser beam cast on the sensor. The project has its unique feature by the integration of a radio frequency module which is used to communicate wirelessly from the analog sensor down to the Arduino based receiver. In this video, I will guide you on how I developed this project ranging from the assembly made down to the programming as I have made the complete design information available shortly at the end of the video. Let's start this project by first looking at the RF module. This is a 433 MHz RF module which has both the receiver board as well as the transmitter board. The RF module has three main terminals which include the data pin, VCC and ground as it is shown clearly. The receiver module also has the same terminal number just that the data pin is 2 in number, so feel free to use any one of them. To know how the RF module works, I will test them as I mount them on a breadboard and I will be using a copper coil as my antenna. The transmitter module requires a voltage value of 9 volts to 12 volts, while the receiver needs only 5 volts for operation and as such, I will be using the linear voltage regulator to power it from my power supply. Completing the first connection from this circuit, I'm ready to test the system. Once I push the button and forcing a high signal on the transmitter data pin, the receiver gets the transmitter signal and as such, light up the LED. Notice the time interval of the receiver response is so small, irrespective of how fast I push the button. This output signal rate might not be well detected by the Arduino and to increase the time rate, I will use an external chip which in this case will be the 55 timer IC. I connected the IC in monostable mode such that the signal from the receiver will ultimately trigger its output relatively to the transmitter signal. This I tested and the result worked out just fine as I expected. I now couple this circuit on the same board to the Arduino part as I now have them ready for soldering. I started off by soldering the IC socket as I have it looking just like this. Other components were soldered in place as I connected the receiver module on the board likewise. Completing the receiver part of the project, I cut out the remaining board space as I have the LCD board also ready for use. The transmitter and the sensor part of the circuit were soldered in place using the circuit diagram as I have it also ready for use. Next is the programming. I started off by including the liquid crystal library and dedicated the pins that I will be using for the LCD. On the setup function, I initialize the LCD as I'm using a system by 2 type. Powering the system, the LCD will write this information. For the loop function, I use an if statement to monitor pin 8 whenever the data pin of the 55 timer is triggered. The signal on the pin will go low whenever an intruder calls the laser line. The LCD will display this information as the microcontroller will trigger an alarm which will stay up for 10 seconds. If the first condition is not met, the system will not do anything, rather it will write this information and keep the buzzer low. Uploading the code on the board, I'm now ready to complete the rest of the connections. I used an external wires to connect both the LCD and the LED to the board. And as I tested the system for the first time, the result was absolutely amazing. Now, I will find an enclosure for the board and I will be using a patrice board for the casing. I measured all the necessary dimensions for all the external parts as I fully noted them. After I have completed the casing, I have the system now looking just like this.
I like the output as all the hardware we are put in place in the system. With a complete change on the antenna, I'm now ready for the final test. I set up the receiver as I have it powered. I align the laser beam pointing on the sensor part of the transmitter. Having all this arrangement ready, it's now time for test. As I cut the laser beam using my hand, the receiver system detects it and trigger an alarm just as you can see. The project is completed and you can find the full design information via the video description below. Limitation of the project, the maximum distance the RF module can go is 100 meter. So note that whenever you intend to build upon this design. Talking about building one for yourself, I will be glad to be of help to you while you will be making yours. So feel free to drop your message on the comment section. Remember to click the subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet and remember to click the bell icon for notification once we make upload on the next project. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you on the next project. Do have a blissful day.